Hello, Wargaming enthusiasts, and welcome back. We've actually decided to take one more turn today, since they don't take a whole lot of time and nothing is really happening. So, why not speed things up? So, Mirak did his turn, and he sent me the um, next save file, so I'm able to make my turn now. Um, so, let's see what happened. The uh, infantry here dismounted the tanks last turn, and now they're taking position in the woods. Which is great, the tanks are moving up. The uh, the tank is circumnavigating this field here again, or continuously, I guess. And the ISU is moving up to the tree line and will be dismounting infantry. Alright, so far so good. Oh, and uh, we've spotted something. There is some sort of enemy presence here, and we don't know what it is. Um, Actually, let's stop here, and let's figure out who see who sees this, and when and where exactly. So, okay, so at 33, no one saw anything, and we go back, and at about 29.30, someone saw it. It's the tank, okay, so the tank has spotted some indication of an enemy presence behind that house over there. So I'm guessing the Germans are moving up to that house in short order. I imagine that's either a truck or possibly a half track or maybe a scout car, but I imagine it's probably, I'm, I'm betting it's going to be a half track of some sort. Um, so there's probably going to be infantry moving into those houses here. Which is not great, because I am still behind. So in that case, we are still further away from the village. That said, we're probably going to be able to take the, the, these houses that we're planning to take without incident still. But I don't know about the next line which I was planning, this line of houses here. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out. And no one else saw anything else. All right, 30 seconds remaining. We'll see if anything develops there. My other tank is moving up here. It might be a good idea to move him up to this house then, in case that half track decides to move along anywhere. And I think that's pretty safe. The uh, infantry is taking position. All right. And that's it, that's all that happened. Okay, so some excitement at least. All right, and what are we going to do in this turn then? Well, we've got this. We wanted a nice lane of fire and that might be it, but then again, if that's infantry, I don't necessarily want to waste my asset um, on infantry, my, my heavy asset in the form of ISU-122. So let's do this. You guys, instead of running up there, you will motor it all the way into this house. Get up to level 3 and try to scout. You guys are going there, that's great. You might actually stay Get to the other side, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, you guys will take that house. We'll look around. Look around. Or actually, no. Actually, let's have you guys move up quickly here and to level two as well, and stay there and try to scout out any enemy position. Well, we'll take this tank and do some more reckless things. We will go here, we will go here, I guess, and then we'll go here, and then we'll turn this direction, and hopefully no one will spot us in the meantime. Now what's the ground look like here? Hello camera. So. I'm not particularly good at figuring out these field of fire things. 
so I'll get right here on the ground and try to figure out what they see. If we put him here, he will have a clear line of sight there, and hopefully he'll be protected by these trees over here. But this is a bit of a problem here. So let's actually move him back a little bit. Like that. That should prevent us from being spotted from the side, from being attacked from the side. And if we are, we're going to have this guy waiting right here. Move him fast again. Just in case. We'll move him right here. So hopefully if anyone approaches from this direction, we will be ha we will have something waiting for them. And uh, I'm actually hoping nothing does approach from that direction. Um, and I hope there's nothing there. All right, well, that's that. You guys will run there, you guys will run there. All right, it's a little bit more advancing than I thought I'd be doing, but there you go. These guys are still running and they're still relatively untired, which is great. Um, oh, there we go. And who else have we got? You guys, change of plans. You guys will be running here as quickly as you can. You're still not tired, so that's great. Uh, you guys were supposed to wait near the house and get in later, but that's also not feasible. We're going to run here and take that house. We just I just really want to get into those houses before they take up any positions there in that tree line and make it impossible for me to take these houses. He's got more mobility. If he's got half tracks, he's got more mobility, or even trucks or anything, um, than I have. I can only put so many troops on those tanks. Um, so I have to watch out where I where I place them initially. At least that's that's what I think. Um, that those are my thoughts. Um, we'll see how it all pans out, I guess. All right. So you guy take this house, you guys take this house, and you guys take this house, which is a bakery. Well done. And we're in Poland. Um, um, Alright. We have this tank holding position here. We have this tank holding position here. This tank saw the enemy unit there. Oh, I'm sorry, it's this tank. Alright, see? I did well moving it up a little bit. Um, this guy. I don't think this guy sees anything, actually. Yeah, that guy sees uh, trees. Alright, so that guy's a bit useless in this position. Um, how about I move him back in reverse, put you all the way here in reverse, and then slowly move you up here. And this should allow us to spot this direction. So in case anything appears from behind that barn there. Whatever, yeah, it's a, sort of some sort of barn. So anything from behind that barn will be engaged by this tank. And anything coming through here, be, uh, from the other side of the barn, I guess, will be engaged by this tank, hopefully. Um, yep. Yep. So that should work out. I don't know. Um, okay, so we're in contact, that's great. I honestly thought it's going to take us a couple of turns to, to get into contact. I didn't think Mirek would do such an aggressive move, but I guess if he has got tr half tracks, he will be very mobile and he will take advantage of that mobility if he can. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering whether there'll be any infantry actually going on my wings or, or not. Oh well, we'll see. Enough rambling from me. Uh, I guess see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow for real this time. Um, bye.